it's your boy Nick from MMA Pixels here with Nathan Johansson. Nathan's an amateur featherweight from Iowa, about to have a huge matchup for the featherweight title of Pinnacle Combat, Friday, January 19th against Kendall Gibbs. How are you doing, Nathan? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Thank you for uh, taking your time out of training to talk with us today. Yeah, no problem. So before we get started about your, your matchup, you, you just had a match, uh, December 23rd, right? Yeah, I did. So uh, At, at uh, Bucks Arena here in Des Moines. That went pretty well for you? Yeah, I ended up winning uh, late in the first round um, due to referee stoppage. Um, my opponent, I just ground and pounded him pretty much. He took me down early, and I just worked it on the ground and came out with the win. So it was a pretty quick fight, and now you have a quick turnaround, and this is for a title. Were you kind of shocked to get that title shot? Yeah, you know, I was. They they asked me about it, and, you know, they were kind of looking around and, and poking around for this, this bantamweight title, and I was like, yeah, sure, you know, I'll do it. And uh, sure enough, you know, they kind of they kind of iced me a little bit, you know, waited, waited for the okay -o, but right as soon as I got that phone call, I started training, so just as if I had already signed the contract. So this being your first title matchup, are you taking training any differently leading up to this fight? Um, yeah, it was a little different because I was able to do, you know, more homework this time because normally, you know, in the amateur world, you don't really get to see too many fights and you don't really know what you're going into unless you're, you know, 20 fights in or whatever. So this was, it was a different, different aspect of the game. You know, we have a game plan going in, and and I got to see my opponent in action a lot more than what, what I'm used to. So it's I feel a lot more prepared. Even though it was only a few-week turnaround, I feel a lot more prepared for this fight than I have any other fight. How's the weight cut going? Um, It's good. It's good. I only have a few pounds left, and, and that'll be cut tonight and tomorrow morning, and then weigh-ins tomorrow night. This show is a professional and amateur show? I think there's two fight, two title fights, and I'm one of them. So I'll be co-main event, and then the main event will be pro. There's also a couple more pro fights. Um, I don't really know who else is on the card. People have been dropping out and re-signing left and right. So Tickets are still available, I believe, at brownpaperticket.com. Uh, use promo code Johansson. Yep, that's correct. So who are some of your biggest supporters helping you out? Um, well, I have my management company, um, which is also a bunch of my, my training partners as well. I'm, I'm signed with Real Warrior Fight Team Des Moines. Um, and I, I have Bellator veteran Nate Williams, Nate Teddy Bear Williams. Um, he's training with me a lot. Um, I have Steve Munez. He's my main manager. He's also an old, old boxer that knows, knows a bunch of mitt work. He's probably the best I've ever had on mitts. Um, I have another boxing coach. Uh, Pepe Pena, he's helping me out a bunch. Um, Charles Heller out of, out of Team Bad Intentions here in Des Moines. Um, and a bunch of people from Des Moines have been, been supporting me on this. Um, also, I couldn't do it without my, my family and my friends. So, they've all been pushing me. Fighting is probably one of your safer jobs that you had. Um, can you talk us through a couple of your jobs you've had? I'm, I'm in the military. I've been in for 10 years, uh, the Iowa National Guard. I uh, went over to Afghanistan in 2010 to 2011. Um, I came back and started bull riding right as soon as I got back. That was a little little sketchy at times. Um, and now now I'm a contractor and a, and a fighter. So, Well, thank you for your service. I appreciate it. Thank you. So how do you train for bull riding? Do you just get on the bull and, and ride it? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of just, you know, uh, it's kind of like dancing. You know, you learn to follow, and uh, you can't really fight the bull because they're 2,000 pounds of muscle, so it's not, you're not going to be stronger than it. So you kind of just bear down and, and follow the movements, and you just got to practice and just got to do it over and over again. When you're in the gym, you have that one sparring partner. You know that his one go-to move. Is that the same thing for the bull? Like, you get to know the bull? 
Yeah, yep. The only difference is, is it depends on how the bull is flanked. It can go different ways, and, and the arena size is different too. So um, just like in a cage fight, if the cage is smaller, your opponent's going to be circling more and, and not going to be standing right in front of you because he doesn't have anywhere to go. So a bull, if it's in a smaller arena, he doesn't have anywhere to go. He's going to be turning around and, and trying to find a way to get out of there. So. Oh, that's fascinating. So where can the fans connect with you on social media? Um, I have a Facebook page. Um, it's Nathan the Red Devil Johansson. Um, then also on my Instagram, it's just njohansson29. Um, I try and post some fight stuff on there as well. Thank you for your time, Nathan. Yeah, absolutely. Nathan Johansson, Pinnacle Combat 27th. Friday, January 19th against Kendall Grove for the featherweight title. It's going down Iowa.